during the chaturmas we have started the swadhyay of the yog sutras of patanjali these sutras are practical tips of how we can implement the philosophy the way of yoga in our lives and enrich our life bring out the potential which is within us and we are in week 6 of our journey like all days we will chant the five sutras two times after which we will have a look at the meaning of sutra 31 let us begin तद जपस्तर्थनम तत प्रत्यक्चेतनाधिगमोप्यंतराया भाव व्याधिस्तान संशय प्रमादाल विरती भ्रांति दर्शना लब्धभूमिक चित्तवीक्षेपास्तेराया दुखदर्मनस्यांग मे जयत्वास प्रश्वास विक्षेप सह भुव अधिगम अतराय अभाव व्याधि स्थान संशय प्रमाद आलस्य अविरती भ्रांति दर्शन अलब्ध भूमि कत्व अनवस्थित ते श्वास प्रश्वासा विक्षेप सह प्रतिषेधार्थम एक तत्व अभ्यास ओ let us now go to the sutra 31 and have a look at the meaning of this sutra the sutra says dukkha dharmanasya angame jayatva shwasa prashwasa vikshepa sah bhuvah dukkha alafasno saro pain दौर्मनस्य डिप्रेशन देर इज अ डिस्टर्बेंस इन द माइंड विच डज नॉट अलाउ द माइंड टू फंक्शन नॉर्मली गोज डाउन लो वोल्टेज एवरीथिंग अपियर्स निगेटिव एवरीथिंग अपियर्स होपलेस एवरीथिंग हेज नो मीनिंग अंग मे जयत्व द बॉडी इज नॉट स्टेडी देर आर ट्रेमर्स एंड वी आर ऑलवेज अनस्टेडी वी आर सिटिंग हियर एंड देन वी लुक हियर एंड देन वी मूव एंड that shaking of the body shwasa prashwasa erratic breathing we are not breathing normally rhythmically but there is erratic breathing vikshepa the distractions the oscillations of the mind sah bhuvaha sah is with bhuvaha exist so this means that this means that dukha saro pain dhar manasya depression angame jayatva tremors shaking of the body shwasa prashwasa erratic breathing these exist in association with the state of distraction of the mind in the previous sutra he has spoken of distraction of the mind and today just now in this sutra he mentions that along with distraction of the mind with shape you have something 
which is associated. Buy one, get one free. So here you are buy one and you are getting one, two, three, four free. Kya baat hai? Very good uh, bargain. Huh? But this bargain creates problems for us. But for us, it is essential to understand that if I am having sorrow, I am having depression, I am, you know, tremors in the body, I am not able to sit quietly, then this means that there is distraction of the mind. When there is distraction of the mind, that means the mind is going in one place, another place, third place, fourth place, fifth place. That means there is a lot of churning which is taking place. That is something which we need to understand. And then we can take care of it. Let us for a moment just understand the previous sutra also because these two go hand in hand. Disease, inertia, a doubting mind, procrastination, erroneous behavior and a disinclination to do the correct thing in spite of knowledge of the inappropriateness of the of knowledge of the appropriateness of the correct thing and inappropriateness of the wrong thing you know sometimes we don't know we are doing something wrong but sometimes we know we are doing wrong if i am smoking and i know smoking will cause me cancer but i am unable to help it as duryodhana had said janami dharmam I know this is dharma, but my mind does not go there. That is pramada. Laziness. Craving for sensorial enjoyments. Confused perception. Inability to reach and maintain a subtle state of the mind. And a distracted mind. These are the obstacles which cause disturbances in the chitta. And then... He has further qualified a distracted mind and says that when you have a distracted mind, you have the following. Okay. Are you able to see the bottom part, the meanings? Yeah. So, Dukkha Dharmanasya. When the mind is distracted, you have sorrow, you have depression. The body is not steady. You keep, you know, fidgeting. The breathing is erratic. When all these happen, don't try to uh, see, oh, I'm feeling so sad. What do I do? Let me try and get rid of that uh, uh, reason which is causing me sorrow. All that is fine. But as a spiritual aspirant, understand that there is a chitta vikshepa which is happening. This is an obstacle in my spiritual path. So what is the solution? That Maharshi Patanjali explains in the next sutra. So we will be concluding here today. But this shows us that there is a very clear progression in these sutras. And each of this we have experienced in our life. These are not bad. These are not wrong. These are in fact stepping stones to going further in life. We don't know how to convert them into stepping stones. That is where the yogic method comes in. And that is what we will be knowing, reading about tomorrow. So with this, let us conclude today. Please sit in any comfortable meditative posture. Hands on your knees in Jnana or Chin Mudra. Eyes gently closed. Head, neck, shoulders, back, all in a straight line. Bring your awareness back to the eyebrow center. Bhrumadhyaya. Install over here the same image you had chosen in the beginning of the session. Allow your mind, your awareness to gravitate towards this experience. Maintaining awareness of this experience, we shall chant the mantra Om 
three times together, followed by the Shanti part. Taking in a deep breath. Om. Asato ma sadgamaya, tamaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrityor ma mrutam gamaya, sarvesham swasti bhavatu, sarvesham shantir bhavatu, sarvesham purnam bhavatu, sarvesham mangalam bhavatu, Loka samasta sukhino bhavantu Om Triamba Kanya Jamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukamiva Bandhanam Mrityor Mukshiyamam Ratat Om Shanti 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 Hi and sing Pranam Mudra. Tvameva Mata Chapita Tvameva Tvameva Bandhush Chasakha Tvameva Tvameva Vidya Dravinam Tvameva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Tvameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Vameva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva Hari Om Hari Om Tatsat Gently rub the palms against each other Place the palms on the closed eyes Experience the warmth radiating from the palms to the eyes Energizing the eyes, energizing the brain, energizing the whole body. And then gently move the palms away. Open your eyes. Riyom. That's it. Namo Narayan.